Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be discussing about AWS Shield and its significance. We'll be exploring why it is used and examining both standard and advanced features offered by AWS Shield. Additionally, we'll be taking a look into the global threat dashboard, which provides insights across all AWS customers. So saying that, let's jump into the video. So initially, there are two ways to access uh, AWS Shield. One is you can search in the search bar. You can just search for AWS Shield. The other one is select the services. And here under security, identity, and compliance, click that. Here, if you go in the end, you can see there is a WAF and Shield. So click that. So once you are in uh, WAF and Shield dashboard, you can see we can find three different services here. AWS WAF, AWS Shield, and AWS Firewall Manager. So if you talk about the definitions, Coming to the AWS WAF, it protects web applications from common uh, exploits by allowing custom rule creation to block attack patterns like SQL injection or cross-site scripting. So that is what the definition of AWS WAF is. Coming to AWS Firewall Manager, it centralizes a security management service for AWS WAF rules, simplifying uh, administration across multiple AWS accounts and ensuring consistent protection and compliance. So that is what the definition according to the docs. And coming to the AWS Shield, uh, it's basically managed DDoS uh, protection service for AWS applications, offering always on detection and automatic mitigation against common DDoS attacks. So let's in uh, initial let's talk about what is DDoS and what is DDoS attack. So let me uh, share you the screen. So in just a moment, so you can see here. So coming to the denial of service attacks, the attacker uses a single source to attack the target. So basically a single attacker floods a web server with a massive number of HTTP requests, causing it to become unavailable to the legitimate user. For example, let's consider a call center. So here, uh, let's say I'm an attacker here. I'm trying to call uh, the call center representative and I'm calling continuously so that he doesn't have a chance uh, to take a legitimate user. So that is what a uh, denial of service attack is, where only one source is used. So I'm using my own phone. I'm just uh, trying to attack this target. So that is what a uh, denial of service attack is. So coming to the distributed uh, denial of service, I'm using the other bots as well, which includes like multiple. So let's say my friends, uh, I'm using my friends as well. Uh, and this attack has a part of attack and just remember, yeah, has a part of attack. So there are multiple systems which is attacking this target, right? So a botnet consists of thousands of infected computers sending uh, multiple traffic to a specific website, saturating its bandwidth and making it inaccessible to the legitimate user. So that is what a difference between uh, denial uh, denial of service and distributed denial of service attack. So in denial of service, only one system is used, whereas in distributed, there are multiple, right? So that is just a difference. And this is where AWS Shields comes into the picture. So these types of attacks are being protected by AWS Shield. So let's go back to the AWS Shield here. So here you can click the AWS Shield and uh, there are uh, coming to the features you see by default we have aws uh, Sh uh, shield standard and uh, coming to the advanced you have to pay three thousand dollars which i'm not going to pay right now right so coming to the standard we only have two features network flow monitoring and standard protection for underlying aws service so these are two different features that we have right now and nothing else whereas for advanced they have all the features but comes with the cost, which is $3,000 per month, right? So if you subscribe to the Shield, you can see the price, 3,000 per month subscription fee for uh, the billing and pricing, uh, data transfer out usage fees for all protected resources and commitment, I'm committing for 12 month subscription. Auto renewal. Its subscription will be auto renewed after 12 months. However, I can uh, opt out renewal 30 days prior to the renewal date. So the reason why I'm not subscribing right now because it's 3,000 cost and and uh, so that is what it is. So these are the difference between uh, AWS standard and AWS advanced. You can go through all these and coming to the global threat dashboard. If you click here, you can see we have attack frequency map and last two weeks summary. So these are the different attacks that has been happened and uh, the related summary. And you can see events in the last two weeks and the related graphs. You can change accordingly, three days. So these were the different attacks that has happened and uh, 
this last day you can see the date but the time so that is what a uh, basic uh, you know knowledge about like what aws shield does we'll be going in depth in the future videos so i have also written a blog as well as in my instagram channel i have kept a post which will be helping you to understand more about what aws is uh, aws uh, shield is and its features so coming to this video i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video and if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone